Hey everyone, it's Keila here and today I'm sharing a layout and a process video for Scrap Academy. Um, please excuse my voice, um, I've got a bit of a cough and a cold at the moment, um, so I'm just trying to get over that. Um, it's not coronavirus, I'm okay, um, it is just, um, you know, the kids are back at school and bringing all their germs home and it's just a normal seasonal cough and cold. Um, so obviously over the past couple of months um, our focus on the group has been mixed media, different products, different techniques, um, tools, lots of different things um, have been covered. Now I'm not um, a mixed media expert, I don't really do mixed media that much. Um, so I've, I've been learning a lot from all the other ladies myself as well. One of which is I finally invested in some gesso. Um, I watched um, Missy's video last month um, covering um, the use of gesso and um, it inspired me to get some and give it a try. So my paper is already covered in gesso um, and I've used my pearlescent paints and I've just done the packaging technique on the background um, and also some splatters as well in a lovely pink to match the paper at the top. Um, now the scrap lift that we're scrap lifting this month is um, a scrap lift by, by Julie Taylor. Um, now there is some mixed media on this layout and that's one of the reasons we picked um, this specific page because it does cover um mixed media but i think it's um more at a beginner's level um i i didn't want to get anything that would you know, pick something that was too um a bit too crazy for me because i am a beginner myself when it comes to mixed media so um if something looks too difficult i do try i do tend to avoid it so i wanted to pick something that Looks, looked a little bit easier to accomplish um, and that's the reason we went with this scrap lift. Now obviously my mixed media is nothing like in the original layout but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm happy that I gave it a try and that I'm, that I'm experimenting a little bit more with um, mixed media um, and I really love how it's turned out. Um, so the photo that I'm going to be scrapbooking today um, is one of my daughter Darcy and this was taken um, I think either April or March it was we was in the lockdown um, and she was having her morning PE lesson with um, with Joe Wicks as lots of people did um, during lockdown um, so I am documenting this this story of lockdown where they had the PE, the PE lessons with Joe Wicks every morning um, TJ was joining in as well, but he's too cool for mum to take photos of him now. So he kind of picks and chooses when he'll allow me to take photos of him. Where Darcy just kind of, she loves it. She loves the camera. Uh, she loves being the centre of attention and um, loves me taking photos of her. Um, so I'm just documenting the story of this. And the collection that I'm going to be using is, um, is it called Let's Stay Home by Pink Fresh? Um, and I'm just pulling in um, mainly the um, the blue embellishments and I'm going to add in a few of the pink as well. Um, I've also pulled out some of the, um, from my stash, some Bramble Fox Hearts in pink um, and they match really well with the pink in the paper. Um, and I'm going to do them cascading down under the photo, kind of like what um, Julie did in the original layout. Um, so I'm just um, attaching things down now. I'm popping a few things up on form. I've got a frame to the side of my photo um, and also a label, but I didn't need what it said on the label, so I chopped that off. Um, so it looks like I've got a white label stuck there instead. Um, I think it said something like ordering in, which didn't really work with the story for this page. Um, and the embellishments that I've picked are just ones that work well with what was going on in the photo. So I've got um, a, a sticker at the top of my photo. I think it said streaming my playlist. We weren't streaming a playlist. We was streaming Joe, Joe Wicks doing his uh, exercises. So I just tucked it in. 
so we've got the streaming on shore um i've also got um just um it's a, just a little phrase sticker and it says how um you know sometimes it's the little things that are the big things um and i thought that works really well because obviously you know you don't think at the time that this is going to be such a big deal you know doing a pee lesson um in a morning at home but really you know these will look back and these will be such important um little events that have happened especially during you know what's been going on this year with the pandemic um now on this sticker it did have some like um stitch lines and there was in more of the purpley pink color that's in this collection so i just um stitched over that um just a quick hand stitch um, and it's just a quick back stitch over that um, in a pink thread instead. So it just ties in a little bit more because I didn't want to bring in any more colours. Um, I got some thickers from my stash, um, just some tiny ones. And I've um, added the title PE at the top of my photo. And I've also added uh, Joe Wicks um, to the cluster of embe embellishments that are falling down the page. Um, I've also pulled out another... Um, bramble fox perspective from my uh, from my stash um, and it's um, the little apple um, circle piece and I think these were from um, like um, a pack to do with you know the pandemic I think there was like two meters apart um, work and play and um, lots of different phrases and you know and symbols to do with the the pandemic so I thought this one worked really well um, it's a PE lesson um, apples are associated with school um, and also I just felt you know apples is a fruit which is good for you so it's to do with that exercise and being healthy um, so now I'm just um, making sure things are stuck down I've brought in some of the um, enamel dots and these were from the stamp market um i think it was the miss modern collection from um click kits that we got a couple of months ago i'm just trying to use up things you know that i've got in my stash and um get things used up i don't like things to be sat there for a long period of time i do like to um get them used up where i can so i'm adding some of those in um and i think i've just added in the white ones of those um and now i'm going to bring in some sequins as well and i pick for um i pick um some pink um what they're called iridescent ones and i think they work really well because it just adds a little bit of pink sparkle to the page um and that's my layout more or less finished um it is a really fun design and it's a great way of using up lots of little embellishments um, and it is um, a really good way of attempting mixed media but covering most of it up so it's just peeking out um, and I really like that effect and I think it looks really nice. Um, I really hope you can join us this month with this month's scrap lift. Um, we will be checking the albums and seeing what you all come up with. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.